from Twitch here. Cannot find your stream key. What? Well, seems okay, right? Are we up? There was this cannot find stream key message there. I think we're okay. I think we're up. Okay, sorry about that. Twitch, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What we're doing this morning, of course, we've finally come to the end of the carving on this, uh, I think the end of the carving on this key block. We'll wash it off here. Get a brush to wash it off. Then check it over to a couple of test prints. And if it looks good to go, we might we might need some recarving and stuff. We might be able to do the color separations. Good morning, guys. Hello, everybody. <coughs> fun day yesterday. Hey? Lots of stuff. Lots of lots of fun action yesterday. Lots of action. Actually, we better have a look at this before I wash it off. See if I didn't forget any spots. Any last check. Look if it looks okay. Mountains all right. These are areas that are supposed to be left. It's dark blue. This looks good. There's foam in the middle. Check, check. I don't think there's any foam in that one. No, no foam in here. These left ones don't exist. There's foam in there. Looks good. Well, I could put some foam in there. They have nothing. That doesn't have anything. That's all right. I should put a bit of foam in those too. Oh, this one too. I forgot. There. Okay. We do have a couple of things to do here before I clean it off. Then. I forgot bits of foam. No big deal. We just cut some circles. Should maybe be one or two in here. Let's do this. The foam on the real great wave is all kinds of different shapes, but on the simpler version, we're going to pretty much keep it just simple, small circles. I think we minimize the problems for the people brushing the glue on top of it and having them as small circles will be a bit more. If they're triangles, there's a bunch of corners involved, and it's difficult sometimes to keep the paste out of the corners. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's wash this thing off. Thousands and thousands of times is this block going to get brushed to me? The part where I put in the plug the other day is still sticking up a little bit, so we've got to knock that down.
might do it might still be a bit high I can't tell it doesn't matter that's what the spending is for my pigment which I forgot I got my test paper here got my brush back in a minute gotta go get a bowl of blue pigment to test print this can't use black oh that's quite coming on the camera I think forward to get in this bench downstairs there'll be more room for me to get in and out I hope all right good morning everybody that was a Nagura Nagura stone it's a it's a soft stone that breaks down easily we use it for mostly for our sharpening it does this job as well just nicely Yeah, we inserted a piece yesterday. I guess some of you know what's going on. On the last stream, was it yesterday morning? The previous stream that I did actual work. I did an insert to, to fix that chip. Okay, I've got some test paper here. Got a batter. Let's see what this thing looks like. Still some junk and all. Okay, say goodbye to our nice clean block. It's pretty weak blue. We'll be using, when we really print it, we'll be using a stronger, deeper, richer Prussian blue. Right now, this is just a weak blue tint. Very watery. This won't be anything like the actual impression on the finished print yet. It's just a light tint. Got to make the registration marks easier for the people to use. Yeah. Okay, where are we? Microwave test copy number one. Okay, you know, it looks like the great wave. A bit lonely. One guy in this boat all by himself. Three guys on this boat. <laughs> it's okay, I think. Click if he looks all right. We're going to get some problems. The people are going to bang this and I felt this right now. I couldn't tell where that hole was. So some of our people at the party, I think, these are absolutely going to be banging that.
I want to repair. Where was the repair? I can't find it. Looks like we did okay. So here, let's stop. It's all so right. I think you know we're going to be good to go on this. There's a few places here that are a little bit too thick, and given that that's the edge, people are going to bang them. I got to carve those down a bit more, I think. As I said, it'll be a darker, of course, absolutely, when we do the real job. Yeah, we've got to make that more findable. People have difficulty finding that, absolutely. You can see faintly the bit where I put that thing in. It's still sticking up a tiny bit. We'll shave that down a bit more. Okay, I think what I should do then, just before I do the color separations, I know the color separations will involve, there's going to be five blocks for this thing altogether. There'll be the key block here, which I think will be printed probably first in the traditional style, I think. Then the next block will be a block that tones the boats with a woody color. And it'll also have the sky around the cloud. That'll be that. Then there'll be a third block with a second level of blue, the lighter blue that's in between these dark blue parts and some scattered blue among the, the wavy things. Then the difficult ones. There's going to be a gray sky block, which goes up to the area of the cloud, not quite into it. And that'll have foam, because we need foam in the sky. And the only, only way to get that is to print the sky itself. And in the real print, in the real gray wave, that gray sky area, this light gray sky area just decays to nothing. On top of that, there's a darker gray. And we're going to have two blocks for this, one for a light gray and one for a dark gray. And I think for the light gray, we're just going to cut it roughly at the top rather than try and teach people how to do a gradation. And then for the dark black behind the mountain, we're really going to try to teach people how to do a gradation. We're going to mark the block with some lines. We will mark lines on the back of the brush and try and teach them how to keep it lined up while they go side by side by side. That may work, it may not. If it doesn't work well, if people just can't handle it, then we'll cut a block for the black and we'll do a gradation, a cut, a block gradation at the top of it. That wouldn't give us this very nice gradation here. It'll give us more of a line, but at least people will have a recognizable print. Okay, as I said, before I do the color separations, I think I better thin down some of these lines here. This is going to really be fun for people. My God, this is really going to be fun. 
The problem with doing this, I've mentioned this before, you know, at the moment we've got three or four different designs in the party room. Most people we do the Peach Boy thing because it's fairly simple to do at first. We've got a more difficult one, the Sensoji Temple block. We've got another one, a Cherry Blossom block. And we've got the Capus, which we pull out sometimes. But once we put this block into the party room, no one is going to want to do anything else. Our parties might become permanent great wave parties. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do here. Let's mark this up. I need to get that down, cut that down. I need to pull off that area. some more here. Yeah, I can't quite see what I'm doing there. Okay, oh yeah, questions, questions. My 
go with parties, yeah. What can you do about the lettering? I don't know. You mean when people are printing it? Oh yeah, we do. We are guiding people through this. And also too, what we will do is if we find that this becomes a problem, people banging the letters, we'll do what we did on our Sensoji print that we've got. We keep a sample up on the wall backwards. And we'd show people, as I'm doing the sample, I look up on the wall and show people what to do. And then as they come to that station themselves, we point out again, look at the wall, there's where to rub, rub here, rub here, rub here, and then carefully, here you go, rub there. We will help them through this. And I, we're always guiding the people through these things. You know? Yeah, you're talking about putting a bridge in, it's too close. It's really too close. I know. We use ourselves, sometimes we put islands, they're called shima. You put an island in to support the paper if the paper needs it. But we need something here, printable. The point about the baron, <clears throat> the baron's going to hit here, and if they're really careless, the baron will tip over and bang here. So putting an island in it doesn't help, it would just bang the island. Even whether it's got pigment or not, it would still leave a mark. Well, I think we're okay, this is not so far. It's not, that's why we put the lettering in there in the first place. I think we're okay, we'll see. Anyway, I gotta feel like to thin down a few lines here. The side of that mountain is too fat. You see me, a couple of these places are a bit too thick and fat. So let me trim some of this. If I make them too thin, then it makes the registration more difficult. But these are a bit too clunky. these foam areas on what will become the dark blue. These ones, eh? this is foam on the dark blue. And this is going to be a tricky part of the finished print because there's going to be a lighter blue in this area. And the lighter blue will run under the dark blue. See it, can't see it, see it, can't see it. We've got to do this to help darken and enrich in the darkest blue. And that means that for the light, lighter blue block that'll be here running under those foam areas also have to be pulled out of the lighter blue one. And these will then have to line up in the finished print. And for us, that's no big deal. But for the print party attendees, we'll see.
Okay, now as I said, some of these things are, these are too thick. They're going to get banged anyway, they'll be made thicker anyway. I can't leave them too thick at this stage. It's a silver hair, I wonder where that came from. Crows are noisy again this morning. I think they had a field day the last few days. There's just food everywhere. So about the beer yesterday, portable shrine within 50 yards of the shop. There were, there were lots of shrines here. I know Saturday around noon, I know just about the second, first time we set the camera up outside. I know the problem was that the shrines that stopped in front of us here, they stopped right below us, right below that tree, and they weren't visible. So me and the crew were out there. We, we poured out more beer than you could float a battleship with yesterday. But it wasn't in an area where the camera could see it, I'm sorry. If we had an actual, you know, like cameraman here to work with me, we could have, you know, done a mobile thing and taken the camera downstairs and showed all the stuff going on. But I just had to leave the camera sitting by itself and it wasn't able to, to view the part where the local shrine stopped for, for beer drinking. Bit too shallow here, I can see. Okay, I think we're okay for this then to move along now. What I'll do then, let's zoom out so we can see what's going to go on here. I'll kill this. What I prepared yesterday is I've prepared four sheets. Oh, no, I've got to fix the registration marks first. What should I do first here? Yeah, I think I better fix the registration marks first. I'm going to say, I'm going to start the color transfers. But before I do that, I'd better finish up the registration marks. Sorry. At the moment, there's just a simple little 
small notch and a small line and they've got to be widened out muchly so that the uh, visitors can So these have to be made really flat landing beds. Okay, we'll need the scope back for that. Sorry about this, back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah, no, don't panic about this. Don't forget I didn't rub the plug down a bit more. What I need to do right now is before making the color separations, the lines have to be defined. And if somebody's panicking about this plug, wherever this plug is, okay, it's not rubbed down yet. That doesn't matter. Just before the first customer comes, I need to rub it down. But before doing the proof printing for the color separations, these lines had to be thinned down because if I do the thinning down later, then the colors won't match. So the critical point, what I got to do right now before I do the transfer is the registration marks have to be set and the lines, the thickness of the lines that are boundary lines have to be decided. That little bit about a plug, it doesn't matter at all. If it still shows at the time we start printing, we'll just push it down there. It won't affect the color block designs. So somebody's don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. It's all right. But it is critical that I get these uh, registration marks clean and clear before I do the color separations, of course. I can't change these after making the color separations. Lost my blue cloth here for doing this job. What I've got here is a non-slip cloth. I want a slippy cloth.
too much junk on my desk here. What's this? What's this? What time is it? 8.38. It could be, I guess, Cameron's not coming in Monday, I suppose. A bit early, but he could be here. Yeah, I think that's the footsteps. Morning. It is indeed. Hello, hello. How are you? Alive. Alive. That's good. Guys, you're still alive. <laughs> Busy. Last couple of days. Crazy, oh, come on, Sanji Matsuri the show. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Was the shop pretty quiet though? No, it was busy. Busy, 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 really? busy. So that, people were able to come in. It's the you know, new entrance downstairs, you know. Cool. It's catching them. So. And today we have five parties. Five parties? Uh six, no, six parties today. Six. There's 25, 27 people coming today. It's oh just my. just me and Kawai so. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Be happy to spend more of the day down here in this part of the shop to talk with people coming in if that's helpful. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Koizumi san's here as well, also. Oh, okay. no, no, no. Doi san's here as well. Doi san, okay. So. But he can't really run the shop by himself. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, I think these guys are chatty. So cool. grab, grab, the can, grab the machine here if you want. Oh. That's looking neat. Yeah, test printing just now. First test printing. Cool. Blue. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to you show interrupt show I show. Hi. Uh, for, the, for yesterday, for the streaming, you know, we did. I did the normal stream here yesterday morning, and then I moved the camera out to the balcony. I guess maybe did you oh, watch some of the streams? No. And because the balcony is right next to the router, I plugged the computer directly into the router. But it was no problem. And it was like 500 up and 400 down and something. Uh, Ping of three yeah. <laughs> microseconds. So we didn't have a tiny problem, not at all. Yeah. And then because the camera was in the same room, we just turned it around and uh, did a print party. Oh, it nice. It was a group in California. So that, that's, in, that's in yesterday's stored Fun. stuff. Yeah. Smithy himself asks, Cameron, can you check if Dave's blue cloth is hanging above his head? No, that's a noren, a uh, Japanese curtain type <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I just see that. Can yeah. <laughs> Cameron, Okuhanka needs your immediate attention. Dave's blue cloth is missing. I know you can solve this mystery. Oh, man. That's I not don't what's want, above his head. I really don't want this to become another meme, but whatever. <laughs> I on, on screen I can't tell because the uh, screen. Yeah, you're right. In the middle of the screen. Great.
I know I'm no expert, but is that a particularly large kento? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a huge I landing zone that's what I for, for beginners. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We wouldn't ever dream of doing something like this. Impossible. So we just want a gigantic landing zone. Yeah. yeah. Huge. Invisible. And when the block's ready, we'll paint the outside of this black mm. so that people can see a black and a white wood. You know, we yeah. learned. Yeah. We learned. The Momotaro print is okay, but when we did it for the Sensoji print, we mm -hmm. vastly did this and it much, much better. Okay. And this print has tight registration. Yes, so. it does. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> too late, Dave. The memes choose you, not the other way around. Yes, I guess that's the way it is. I understand. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, well, if that's the case, then there's some more good ones coming up. I don't know. The TV guys were here the last couple of days. So Are they still were coming again? Well, they're, again? The, they're the finished now. Okay. Uh, what, what's happened was the guy told me last night. You know, the original plan a week ago, there's the 30 minute program or mm -hmm. 25 minute program with three segments. Right. They're going to Kanji House to show how people are playing with their names in Kanji. Right. They go to a lantern shop writing kanji yeah. on the lanterns and then they came here and the original idea was seven or eight minutes right that's still going to happen but they found that we were sort of quote so interesting unquote yeah. that they asked if they could do more maybe a 25 minute segment or a 30 so minute they're still segment. going to do the three-part segment and that's then a separate what that's time? what they haven't decided so they oh, have okay. now the last three or four days they came and filmed a ton more stuff wow enough to make it a half-hour program Huh. But the executive producers haven't decided whether to let us do part of that three and then next month another segment <coughs> or pull us out of the three and make a separate one okay. or knock those other two guys out and give and us the whole thing. And I don't know what, so I'm just sitting here quietly. I don't okay. know which way it's going to go. And we've been instructed not to Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and yet the usual thing oh, okay. until the broadcast is finalized. And a week or so before, okay. they'll give us the go ahead and we'll... We can social media, but it won't be. This is nothing to do with overseas broadcast. Right. It won't be on the Just internet. In it's Japan. Japanese domestic television. Okay. All in Japanese. No English subtitles. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but if you've watched Japanese TV, you'll see all the Japanese kind of subtitles. <laughs> the, the way they always broadcast. Then what they also they shot the then is they they want to make this thing. The, the the thing that they decided on doing was they, they want to make it in a day in the life of. Mokura. No. no. I mean, David Ball. Yeah, Got it. So, so, so. so what they've done over the past few days is they basically followed me around through all that festival stuff. They've seen oh, me wow. carving, they've seen me streaming, they've seen me doing this. Mm. Last night says, okay, let's wrap this program up. Let's see your evening. Yeah. You know, what happens when you shut the, sh the shop door down and stuff? So I said, yeah. yeah, whatever, just follow me. So he filmed Kawai-san and, and uh, what's his name? I forget. Koizumi-san shutting yeah. the door and bringing in the flag and stuff like that. Then me saying goodbye to those guys. Yeah. Then I put the newspaper in my pocket and headed out for dinner. You know, my normal mm -hmm. normal thing. So he, he pokes along with me, sees me going into the restaurant and stuff. Then yeah. we asked the restaurant guy, is it okay to film inside? And surprise, surprise, he said yes. Oh. Normally they can't. They say no. It got a head office and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it was, it's a privately owned restaurant. Oh, okay. So the guy said yeah. Nice. And then he sat there with me, actually, and put the camera on me, and we chatted a bit while I was eating, so hmm. you know, answering more questions. Was so. so this the same young man who did all the camera yeah, it's work? The same guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 the same guy. Not very confident, but whatever. You know. But then we finished dinner. I said, okay, that's kind of it, right? He says, well, no, I mean, what's the rest of your day going to be? Okay. I said, well, I got a bit more paperwork to do. I got to get a hunch to ready for uh, Kawasaki-san. I got to get the Great Wave test printing ready for tomorrow, blah, mm. blah, blah. He says, well, I want to shoot this. Let's go, let's go. So we come back we followed here. you all night. We come back here. This is now 7 o'clock after I finish dinner. We yeah. open the door and come in, and he, I just get back to my normal work. And I got a list of things, getting the paper ready for Kubota yeah. San, and I just go through these things one by one by one. Mm. And it's about, I don't know, whatever, 9.30, and I kind of have had enough. The festival has really, really been well, a bunch of work. It's worn you out, yeah. And I said, look, look, I'm sorry, and Okubo san that's it. You know, I'm done. I got to yeah. go to bed. He says, okay, well, just let me shoot that, and then I'll be out of here. Out of here. And I'm like... What? <laughs> do you really want to do that? I mean, I've done this before. We've been in this kind of program before, yeah. and it's a standard scene. They want to see the guy lying in the bed, click the light goes out, and it's a standard standard trope at the end of an exhausting day. Yeah. Dave collapses. I mean, I get it. I've, I've actually done that before yeah, yeah. in programs about the 100 poets. And I was just too tired to argue, so I said, whatever, just okay, just whatever. Yeah. And the guy sat there in the background while I came out, brushed my teeth, washed my face went in my room laid my thing on the floor i stripped off and get in i don't know what he shot or whatever i just <laughs> laid down or turned away from him 
Uh, That's it. Good night. <laughs> and I just this, and then I hear a minute later, ping pong. He's gone outside and yeah. let himself out. And that's it. <laughs> so I told, I just couldn't. At that point, I just couldn't care. I don't yeah. care, you know. Wow. I, I just one thing different. I left my shorts on. I yeah. normally I sleep naked normally, but I left my shorts on because like enough is enough. Man. Yeah. You know whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> so I don't know. I myself when this is broadcast, I don't know. I just last night, I just couldn't care less. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> So you're talking about memes. <laughs> People are saying, ah, oh, too much information. So I was like, no, 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 just enough information. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> And if you're asking already, it's boxers, not briefs. Just yeah. so you can, can put you out of your misery now. It's all right. So. <laughs> HB thingy says, that's kind of creepy that they would be filming you as you're getting ready for bed and everything. It's but. a trope. It's a trope in these programs. You know? yeah. Absolutely. It's not the first time for me, more third or fourth time. If you go back to those videos I made, the, the Hakanichu series, mm -hmm. they're trying to make kind of, well, it's not, they're not making it up. I mean, there's a long, long day for this person doing a hard, heavy job and blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And they want to try to show people that. And that's yeah. sort of a scene, you know. Yep. At the end of the day, you finally get some rest. So, 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 yeah. so. Uh, during the Poet series, there was one of the companies here. They made an hour-long documentary. And what they did was, you know, we chatted about how far to go and what to do and all this before they started. Mm -hmm. And I sort of gave them the go. I had to do basically whatever they wanted. And they rented the apartment just above mine in the, in the building. There happened to be an empty one at that time. Wow. So they rented the apartment just above mine. And these people came back, not every day, but a day. And then a week later, came back again. And a month, it was over a period of months because they wanted to try and show the long term, you know, Aggressive. of the, the port series. Yes. So, so, so. Huh. And we agreed that I gave them a key to my place. Wow. Could rather than leave my door open. And right. the deal was they were going to, I don't know, what do they call it? I don't know, stealth. Gorilla video. Yeah. I, I gave them the okay to do this. My huh. kids were gone by then. My kids were out of the house. Yeah. And the rule was just when I hear them come in, don't look at the camera. Just do yeah. my normal work. Yeah. It's a semi, well, this is 1996 or something. Mm -hmm. It's a semi sort of reality TV, you know, which I wouldn't go for these days now. Yeah. But. So I gave them the key and that was it. I'd be working you know, along carving. I had the, I had the, you know, the door open. There was no bell. It was my yeah. house. You know. I had the door open. Okay, no problem. I'd just sit there working and pretend nothing was happening. And I'd yeah. hear them come into the room and their video. And maybe the guy would come close and he'd like gesture, hi, how you doing, you know, whatever. Yeah. But the huh. point was, don't look at the camera. Just do it. Then yeah. they'd go away. I hear their car go in, come out, and they had the key. And sometimes they slept upstairs and they, they did the same thing. A late night scene watching me. They'd park yeah. the car outside in the window of the sports uh, store next yeah. door. I'd see the camera on the roof of the car. Yeah. And I know what they're doing. They're waiting for me. So, yeah, whatever I carve, lay out my bed and do the ooh, crash <laughs> and then click, turn out the light. And they've got, and that appeared in the finished program. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So it's a semi dramatized thing, but it was all actual, real. You know, it wasn't made up, you know. So. Actually, that program won an award, actually. You know. Not for me, you know, but for, yeah. the, for the people that made it. You know. Huh. Apparently, there are Great Wave shorts, and they recommend that you get this. <laughs> great Wave boxers or something? Yes. One of the One of the guys in the print party yesterday had a Great Wave t-shirt. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we had a funny Great Wave experience yesterday. In the print party, four people came in for the mm -hmm. party. They'd originally sent an email, can we have five? And we said, yeah, whatever, same group, we can do five. Yeah. Turned out only four of them showed up, so fine, we do, we do four. Yeah. The fifth guy showed up just almost as we were finished. We oh, were doing no. the key block. And he shows up with a package in his hand from the print shop down the street. Oh, Sakai no. Koko, though. So this is, this is live stream. This has been yeah. live streamed. You know? So we're having fun this. So I ask, hey, look at this. You got something from the print shop down the street. You know? What is it? What is it? What is it? He says, oh, I got this cool print. And it's the he Great Wave. The great wave. <laughs> so, and so the people on the stream just like, <laughs> I, I didn't that read it all. But it's oh. kind of fun. So. That is so funny. 
And then at the end of it, I don't know if this part was on the stream or if we'd shut it off by then, but we looked at his print mm -hmm. and we wanted to compare it with mine to show him what's going on. The, the other people in the in the stream, they know about my wave, they've watched the video and stuff yeah. like that. So <sighs> it wasn't a god awful piece of, of ratchet. It was it was okay. It was it wasn't we would never ever publish something like that. But it wasn't totally disreputable, you know. Okay. That's good. It wasn't as anywhere near as bad as that sample I keep in the shop from the shop who shall be unnamed, you know. Yeah. It was okay. Everyone's all excited about having found the uh, great wave shorts, and then someone asks, I wonder if there's an octopus one. Oh, no. Well, aren't there places now where you can send your own images and these people make up the stuff you want, the coffee Probably. cups or the t-shirts or the whatever? Surely you can do that. I'm sure you can do that. Yes. So, they're saying, I thought Japan was a bit more private than this, the Japanese society with all the watching you, going to bed and all that stuff. Um, Whatever else this has happened to be before, it's a trope. It's a yeah. TV trope, mm -hmm. you know. So, if you're appearing on TV, you pretty much sign away all your rights to privacy. Well, no, no, <laughs> I mean, I could, have, I could have said, sorry, guys, look, that's enough. No, just go out of here. And I, but a couple yeah. things. One, I was just, I was really, really, really tired. And I thought, oh, no, whatever, you know. Suppose we show that. Who yeah. cares? I don't care. I mean, mm -hmm. I was really tired. I, yeah. I'm pretty tired most days. So, yeah, yeah. whatever. Let's, uh, it's not going to hurt me. Yeah. I don't care. The other thing about this too is that most things it's me. I don't have to ask permission of somebody else. You know, right. when they ask for shooting print bodies and things, we have to make sure we check the print body people. Blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. For me, I just don't care. I don't, mm -hmm. You know, my bookkeeping is online. I don't really care so much about that privacy stuff. So yeah. I might come back to bite me one day. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Okay, yeah. fooling around this a bit too much here. The Mers asks. Does Dave have a sample that shows what to look for in a good versus bad print? I oh think especially at the Great Wave. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a huge, huge question. And also, remember, what's good and what's bad is a very much a question of personal opinion. Mm -hmm. There's some objective stuff. This is proper. This is not done right. Exactly. But a lot of it is subjective. Mm -hmm. It might be an interesting thing for a Davis Choice video. Though. Yeah. That is a good idea, you know. What do I look for? Now, when, yeah. when I send Wade san out to look for those old prints, you know, what's my criteria that I want to see? You right. know? So that is an interesting question. I don't think it's something I can specifically answer sitting here while I'm doing this carving job. I know yeah. I'd have to show this and show that and show this. Just the common sense things. When we're buying the old prints, or when I'm looking at that great wave made by some other workshop, you know, of course I want to see just the common sense basics: clean yeah. registration, clean color, yeah. no, no actual clumsiness you know right. in the making yeah beyond that i'm not sure what i can say as i as i sit here you know the wave that the guy brought yesterday when we were chatting about it in the group it was okay the, the those technical things were right it was registered properly hmm. the colors were basically smooth the things that were wrong with it were with the carving was nowhere near on the calligraphy the calligraphy that was carved was just really really sloppy uh -huh. careless the, they hadn't done things like, well, again, I'm getting too technical. They had, these 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 prints have what's called itabokashi. The, the bottom of these waves are carved sharp, and the top of them are carved like really smoothly. In, in the real wave, me. In these areas down in the here, the bottom of each of these wave shapes, it's carved sharp and clean at the bottom. I'm talking about the old prints now. Mm -hmm. And then it's carved ragged and rough at the top, so you get a kind of a three-dimensional effect on this. And that one yesterday was smooth, 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 smooth. They, they hadn't taken the trouble to time to do that. You know? mm. So there was details like that. You know? But that's specific, specific to this print. Yeah. It's not something that's general. To all prints. But it would be. That would be an interesting thing to do for a Davis yeah. Choice video one day. So yeah, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, the merits.
before anybody shoots them, it's a, it's a no-no to use a hammer with a wooden handle. This, this is a chisel designed for hand use. The ones designed for using with a hammer, of course, have a metal ring so you're going to whap the crap out of them. Yeah. So you go ahead and shoot me, but at the level I'm doing this light tap tap tapping here, I want the flat surface here. So, so I think I'm okay. But, uh, you couldn't smack it too much, it would just break. It just started playing because I, I stopped. Are you on Safari? Um, no, that was on Chrome. I don't know why it started playing the video. But someone shared a link to some more of the, the pants. They're finding all the different uh, jeans and things. I wanted to see what this was. This one's crazy. It has on the back side of the jeans the Great Wave and the Octopus print overlapping each other. <laughs> I don't think we'll go that far. I no. <laughs> Someone's saying, what are those atrocities? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty atrocious. Yeah. It sounds like that's more fun than my stream today. <laughs> <laughs> and only 500 euros. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. We're in the wrong business, Cameron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just going to make tacky pants. <laughs> Jeans. It was 500 pounds. I think I was thinking of that. Oh, that's insane. It's still expensive. Oh, yeah, that's even well, it's more, more expensive. expensive. More yeah. expensive than Europe. Oh, my gosh. Futs around with this too much, but it's got to be a perfectly smooth landing zone. You know, we can handle irregularities, but the print body people can't. So. Yeah. No experience.
another test printing. I just want to test the feel for this right now. See if it's if there actually is a, is a sharp corner that fits. Oops, not quite here. That's okay. This one's a bit indeterminate. It's a bit crooked, so it hits here first. Be careless in the layout there. You need Uncle Ernie. Cameron, have you printed the print party block yourself? I've only done Momotaro once. Who was it? Take us on, I think. Way back what way? Taught when we were first on a. Yeah. When we were first here? Mm hmm. Yeah, when I was first here. Just so I could kind of know what people are doing. Mm. And then I was forbidden to touch tools again. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sort of the full around, this is just really important. It's just got to be exactly right, mm -hmm. even more so than our own printing, you know, than our own blocks. We can fool around and adjust and put it in lighter, put it in heavier, right? But these people can't, they've just got to click it. And if it doesn't click just right, that's a so story about it. Take your time, Dave. We're all too busy ordering a few pairs of jeans. <laughs> <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> Am I really in the wrong business? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Did we get a cut on those? <laughs> Where do you see my boxers? <laughs> too bad I didn't think about this before. Oh, no. You want to know about a meme? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Dave, what's your jean size? <laughs> secret. <It's> secret. <laughs> only, we don't need any surprise boxes oh, from the only, UK. Only my, only my girlfriend knows. <laughs> <laughs> she buys all my jeans. I get a pair for my birthday once a year, whether <laughs> I need it or not. So. Whether I need it or not. Let's all chip in and buy Dave a pair of those jeans so you can wear them on the street. No, thank, no thanks. No, no thank you. Let's, let's stop that one before it gets started. <laughs> Two out of hand. Yeah. Oh, man.
You just gotta wear those and your uh, Okudori shirt. And mm. It's a uh, my six nine, my six heaven, nine shirt. Say. Yes. <laughs> Dead uh, Steve says, you laugh now, but one day one of us will walk into that print party room wearing better jeans than yours. <laughs> Everybody has better jeans than mine. What's that all about? That's a given. No. I didn't even notice. I have to be careful to just make sure I've got something on before I come out. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even notice. You know. That's pretty funny. The cameraman last night, I get the the mat ready on the floor you know right it's this little thing it's about an eighth of an inch thick that little blue mat yeah. you know this is like where's, where's your, your mattress where's your fancy well, i don't actually use one and huh? he thought it was because i'm foreigner and don't like japanese tones and stuff yeah he says, i said no i don't, I don't uh, just give me this let me lie down on the floor that's all i want yeah, yeah. So he's like it looks funny it looks like i'm doing something strange for the tv program i said look you're already shooting this private scene I'm not going to fake it. This hey. is what I sleep on. You want to? <laughs> you don't like it? That's it. Just go away. You know. <laughs> we weren't yelling at each other, but right. you know, this is it. If you don't believe me? It's up to you. Cut it out of the program. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I just can't bear a bed. It's impossible now after all these years. Yeah. You know. I, when I was in Toronto last year for that film festival, mm -hmm. they brought me up in a what it was, Sheraton something intercontinental something hotel. You yeah. Know, and it's this giant suite and there's this huge bed and I got on it to see and then I just no way so I just slept on the floor beside it. <laughs> that is hilarious. The Murders asks, Dave sleeps on a yoga mat? It's, I think a it's a camping mat. It's one of those yeah. things where you, you put in your tent to help keep the cold on all. Yeah. It's sort of an inch, it's about, in Western terms, about a quarter of inch thick or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's like an insulation mat for camping. Keep you a little bit off the ground. Just to, so you don't freeze to death. Yeah. yeah. So, so. that just asked even though I think you just answered it when was the last time you regularly slept on a western bed you were oh offered one recently but didn't use it right at that hotel but I don't I remember when I was a kid we had beds in the house it was, it was normal yeah uh, I don't remember no no when I met my kid's mother, that was back in the late 70s we moved into a little house together we had a little sponge thing hmm. I don't know it would have been like 1971 or something I don't know oh, no wow. idea I just don't like it it's too soft you know no matter how hard they are it's just too soft and too what's the word it's sort of mothering and surrounding and yes. you know I just don't like being sort of I don't know. yeah 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 exactly 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 Sly Fox Games asks, have you ever thought about sleeping in a hammock? Have you ever tried this? But a hammock from the ceiling, that might not work in here. <laughs> I don't know. I know. Basically, what I want is just a flat surface. You know, just give me a flat surface, a floor anywhere, and let me let, lie down, and yeah. 10 seconds later, or well, 20, 30 seconds later, I'm gone, That's you know. Yeah. So I'm not looking for comfort or, yeah. you know, a hammock. I don't ask you to bend your back. I want just flat. Yeah. I'm, I'm not unhappy with it, so I'm not in any mood to sort of look around and oh my god, I need to find something else. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. Yeah. Last year when I was in hospital for that checkup, you know, I did that overnight checkup at the hospital. You know, mm -hmm. and there you are, you're in a bed, and you will stay in this bed, and there's no fooling around. And it was like, luckily, it was this tiny thin mattress, and yeah. it was pretty hard. So okay, I'm all right. You know, <laughs> I'm all right here. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Do I, have, do I have time? To, what, what's time here? Uh, 9.12. 9.12, so I don't have a whole lot of time. Okay, what I think I'll do then? I'll do one of these, because this is the last stream of the week, right? It's Monday morning. Yep. We're off tomorrow. Yep. Okay, well, I don't have time to do all four of these carefully. So what I will do is one. I'm going to make one of the color separations for this print. We've got four sheets here. As I explained before, 
there is going to be five blocks in all for this print. There will be the, the key block, which will be done in dark blue, the one you're seeing here. And unusual for a key block, it has areas of color, hmm. darker blue. That'll be block number one. Next block will be a lighter blue block. The real wave, the real great wave, has three blues. It's got the dark, the medium, and the light. Our microwave is going to have two blues. It's going to have the dark and a lighter one, or medium, something between those two. Yeah. And that will go b behind also the dark. So we will have the key block, and we will have another blue block, which will have all the water tonalities. Then there will be a block which has the boat woody color on it, and we're going to double up and put the sky on the same one. We'll figure out a neutral kind of tone that mm. fits both the wood and the sky. Actually, that's not such a strange idea, because there we have, you can barely see the sky, it's a light woody tone, and we've got that on the boat. Then there will be a, well, how, how much am I counting now? That's one, two, three. The fourth block will be the light gray of the sky, and it will also have toned areas on the boat, the reed mats and the sub area of the boat. You know, you need a two-tone feeling to those boats. So the gray of the sky will start up here, it'll be carved gradation at the top, mm. it'll come down below there and touch the boats. Then the fifth block, the one we're still not sure how this will work, is it'll be a block to print that dark gradation. And a professional block to do that would have the same, it would come all the way up here. Because you don't cut a gradation like this, you print a gradation with the brush on a larger block. So that block may look actually quite similar to the gray block before it, except it won't have the boat areas. Mm. And that's the way we'll try it first, by trying to train people to use a brush to go sideways, sideways, sideways. If it turns out that that's a disaster, we'll chop it off with a carved gradation, and they'll just do it with a normal brush. Okay. So it's fine. Well, I can't do them all right now, so what I'll do right now, I'm just going to take one of these things. I have one blank block with me. No, I won't have time to paste it down, because I've got to draw on it. I've got to draw, I've got to draw the sky and draw the boats and do draw that stuff, so. So we'll just print one and we'll have a go at seeing how it's going to work. Well, I can't paste them down yet, we're, we're a long time, a long way away from that, to that part of the job. Get the dryer on here, it'll go in the corner and against that point. Well, it's not a sharp edge, let's use the other corner. In there. Was it poorly cut or something? Yeah, the paper's poorly cut. I, 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 you can see it's rough on the edge. Uh, I made this last night. It was one of the jobs I did while the dude was here watching. So. Yeah, that's clean. I'm still not sharp and clear here. I'm sorry to fool around like this. I'm still not sharp enough. Hmm. One problem, this is, why, this is why we ourselves don't make large registration marks, because there's so much chance of where am I, where am I, where am I, where am I. It has to be without variation all the way across. Mm. So we make our registration marks small and tiny. Click, we know exactly where it is. Right. That's a problem is we need a big landing zone for those people, but yeah. every stretch of the landing zone has to be exactly the same yeah. registration. Mm. So sorry for futzing around here. Okay. Jumping back to bedding, I guess. Uh, Wild omelet says, I've been thinking about getting a Japanese style bed, so a futon set, I guess, or futon. Um, <laughs> but I'm afraid of bugs on the floor. I don't, I never... You don't even lie down. Well, you, I made that mistake when I first lived alone after my kids left. Yeah. I didn't clean up every day. I mm. left the little thin pad that I have on the floor. Mm. I just left it. And after a week or so, I'm trying to come up and do some vacuuming. Lift it up and whoops, mold started growing underneath. Yeah, yeah. So you can't do that. It's got to be lifted up every morning, thrown over the south-facing balcony. You know how it works, yes, right? You yes. Oh, yeah. Unless it's a rainy day, then you put it in the closet. Whatever. Too many rainy days in a row are a problem. So, yeah. so, so all Japanese bedding gets aired out absolutely with no exceptions Freak every on. night. Well, every, every night. The only time it doesn't is when we're in the middle of rainy season. You go in, in any suburb or part of J Tokyo or whatever in the morning, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, on the south side of every apartment building, yep. which is built that way, with the balcony rail facing south. Yep. Nobody would buy an apartment with the balcony rail facing north. It's just not made. And you'll see all the bedding hanging over the rails. Yep. Yep. 
And then bugs, yeah, just clean up. Just don't eat in your bed. <laughs> don't have a... Uh, what is it? Common sense, of course. Your, but that just keeps bugs out no matter um, what. But also one, one common appliance in many people's houses is the Fton dryer, do you show? The Fton dryer. Like an appliance that does it's an appliance. It's an appliance. It's a dry. It's a dehumidifier with things like a reverse vacuum. Oh thing. yes, it's yes, really, yes. really, really common. Yeah. People use it for shoes. People use it for bedding. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Okay, yeah. You don't have one. <laughs> no. Test sheet here. Dog butts 5,000. I watched Art of the Game on an airplane flight, and coincidentally, I see Dave streaming on Twitch. I wouldn't have known who this fellow was otherwise. Welcome. Glad to have is it, more is people. It, what time frame are we talking about? Because that? that went in the Delta Airbag air, seatback system. It went in in October for a month. But, and here we are. I'm still hearing that it's up there still. Yeah. When was this? Yeah, when did you see it? Because we've... Keep hearing people mentioning it. So, We're amazed in the that store. it's still, so, I, so still either, either getting it's played. Yeah. Either it's getting whatever people are clicking that button so they keep it in there. I don't know what they're... What yeah. they're or who's paying who. Yeah. Delta is... I guess Delta pays royalties, right? Delta must be, must be paying must, the, yeah. the video makers to use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's helped our business a ton. We get oh, people yeah. up here. They come up the stairs. Wow, I didn't know about this. I saw it in the plane on the way over. I got to come here. You know? Yeah. It's really a thing. It's wonderfully, wonderfully helped our business. Definitely. What's important about it facing south? The windows. Um, when you're in the northern hemisphere, sunshine. the sunshine <laughs> comes in on the south side. Is that the paper that would have been dried from the glue and the lum? I'm not sure which paper we're talking no, about. No, 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 no. I was doing sizing the other day, putting a glue mixture, glue and alum. That is our normal printing paper. This has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now at all. We're making transfer colors here. It's not with normal printing paper. It's with a two-layer yeah. paper. So here, this is one of the transfer sheets, and the way it will happen, as you can probably see it here, people who don't know what's going on, it's a layer of thin paper lightly tacked to a carrier sheet with spray glue. And what will happen over the next few hours if I get to, well, today I don't, not with six print parties, but when I get time to do it now in the next work, what I will do is, this one's going to be for the sky and the boats. So I will be getting my pen, I'll be drawing the area of the sky that we need, I'll get my yellow marker. Let me just start it now. I guess do a bit now here. It sounds like it's getting time, isn't it? Okay, uh, we'll just show 920. how this works. Pardon? 920. Okay, we'll just show how this works. So if this is going to be the, the wood block for the yellow of the boats, here's how it works. We cover it in. See, the fact that this is yellow is just coincidental, actually, but whatever. Yeah. Is it yellow or is it green? It's highlighter color. <laughs> color that is. When you see that, that thing that went around the engine a while ago, what, ten spots? What color are they? Are they yellow or green? Oh, uh, no. You ask six people to get three different answers. So. Huh. What color do you think a tennis ball is? Huh? Lime green. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, if you, if you Google it, there's, there's, it was a real thing. Huh. A few months back, a few months back, a few weeks back. Yeah. What color is a tennis ball? I mean, even guys like some famous tennis player, Nadal, whatever, says yeah. one color, and some other famous tennis player says, oh, yeah. I mean, guys who use those things every day. You know? That's funny. Oh, the person who saw Art of the Game says saw it in early February this year. Maybe okay, it's so okay. So we knew it was up then, yes. Yeah. So, so. I don't know if it's still up. You know? It sounds like question has got a key. Yeah. Wild well Donald says it's neon yellow. That's what color you're yeah. using. I'm not trying to start a fight here, just <laughs> I mentioned it. it was one of those, you know. Come on in. 
Hi, Sean. Good morning. Hello. Dead Steve. I'm sure that ding dong had followed me into my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> then you're watching the stream too much. Yeah. So take a break. <laughs> it's a sign of addiction, is it? So. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, Kwaisan. Do you, do, you, do you detect a bit of franticness in his movements there? Yeah. He prepared the paper last night, like of 50, 55, 60 oh sheets of goodness. paper last night. So is this a tour group, a school group? It's a what school is group. It's from some international high school in Shanghai or something. In I, Shanghai. Yeah, I don't, wow. I don't remember okay. exactly. Huh. Didn't you book it? I thought you booked it. Yeah. Oh, is it already that time? Oh, my goodness. oh which reminds me too. Okay, okay, I'll wait till after the stream. Okay. We had a problem with our bookings yesterday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're good to go here. This is you know, this is what's going to be happening. So the next stage of this production for me will be pulling these four transfer sheets, coloring in the areas that we're going to need on each block, and then pasting them all down on new wood blocks here. And it's a bit of a waste, you know, we've got two good sides on these blocks. And I guess what we're going to do, we'll paste it on one side. We can't use both sides because it's a party room. We can't right, turn them right. over. But no problem. The back side will wait a few years and get until the front side's worn out. And then we'll be using the back side. So we've, we've used good wood for both sides of these. And we've really chosen a really nice piece. I'm crying about this because this should have gone for Ukiwe Heroes or something. Yeah. But uh, whatever. Whatever. We have to give priority to, to the important jobs here. Yeah. So, you know. Very nice. Uh, oh, we almost like we chose, you know, another one. Yeah. It's so nice. It's so unusual for us to be able to find good wood like this. You know. Yeah. Where was this one from? It's one of the trees we bought. Oh, okay. You know, one, of, one, of the, one of the planks. We didn't yeah, buy this yeah. one in, in tree Log shape. Form, we bought, yeah. No, we bought it in plank form. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay, I think I better get out of here. Six print parties today. I'm already tired. I got to get going on this. Kawaii okay. and I will work out the shift. Who's going to do what? Who's going to talk to what? Who's going to host which one? Okay. And this is Monday, so there's no stream tomorrow. But I'm not quite sure where I might be. I don't think I'll be out of Norway. I think I'll be downstairs. I'm okay. almost on. I think is coming. So he and I may try and attack some of the big jobs nice. waiting downstairs. So I'm not quite sure. Okay. We'll see. Won't it happen? So I'll be back here Wednesday morning. Probably right. printing, uh, continuing on on this job. Maybe we'll be. I'll be doing these color separations. Maybe I'll be actually carving by then. I don't know. So. Okay. Sorry for a bit of a low keyed, low toned uh, session here today, but uh, that's the way to go. So. Yep. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Hot mic, and we are out of here.